What is up guys, my name is Shinman Takazo and thank you so much for tuning in. We are back again in the advanced server and today we'll talk about another rework for a certain hero in Mobile Legends, uh, an old hero. So we'll check out who that is and see if it's a good rework so far. So if you go to heroes and if you have access to the advanced server, you can check this out for yourself. So you got a revamped Yi Sun Shin. So they didn't change the picture yet, but he looks like this now. So yeah, don't mind the blocky graphics. They'll be replacing that soon with some animation of some sort. I'm sure Yi Sun Shin would love that. But yeah, this is what he will look in game now. And he's got several changes in the skills. So that's what we're going to talk about. Why don't we head on to the battlefield and see if this Yi Sun Shin is a better marksman than the previous one. So here we are in the game, and this is what Lee Sun Shin looks like, so yeah, definitely a lot better, I guess, than before. He doesn't have his hat anymore, he's got this bandana now, and he still has the same bow and sword. So why don't we check out what the new skills are? Let's start with the passive. So one thing they kept in the passive is if you attack long range, of course you're going to be attacking with the bow. If you attack close range, it's going to be a sword attack, right? So different animation now. So it looks cooler, I guess. One thing they added though is if you switch between the attacks, for example, you attack with a long range bow, and then the next attack you do is a sword, you get a passive, that one. So what that does is it increases your next two basic attacks after switching between weapons, just like this. One, two. So those are powered up attacks. And triggering this passive by switching weapons can also work the other way around, like uh, sword first, and then two attacks from the bow. There you go. Those are powered up attacks. Switching between types of attacks and also activating the passive will give you a movement speed as well. So it doesn't show, but it should. Yep. Ah, uh, there you go. That was a short one. And of course, you still keep the trusty boat that you can use to move around, like Surf, the Land of Dawn, and while you look for uh, Layla, you can smash. Uh, same effect, so stun and damage area effect. He has a lot of passives now. Now it's time to talk about his first skill, so this is one of the skills that has been changed as well, so it looks like this. That is awesome, right? So this has a lower cooldown now. And you deal damage, of course, to the enemy. It gets you close to the enemy, especially when you want to activate your passive. Remember, you need to switch between normal attacks or arrow type and sword type attacks, right? So for example, you dash and there, you activate your passive. Another effect of this is it reduces the damage that you take while you do it. So 40 damage becomes 28. So that is almost half. So around 40% damage reduction for a short period of time. Just like 1 to 2 seconds. Another effect that comes with that is immunity to disables. For a short time while you have that damage reduction, you are also immune to crowd control effects. So wow, that is a lot of effects on one skill again. Now it's time to talk about the skill 2. So this also had a major change. If you don't charge it, if you just press it real quick, this is what he'll do with the skill 2. It's an area slash damage effect. If you hold it down, it's gonna turn into the previous, uh, the original second skill. It's a long range arrow damage in a line. Still pretty good. Now, along with that, after you use the skill, whichever, if you charge it or not, you will activate your passive, like this. So your next two basic attacks are going to be powered up. There you go. Some movement speed as well, right? So that's pretty good, right? A wide area effect slash in front of you for close range and long range attack. He still has that. And then your next two basic attacks will have power up effects from the passive. Oh and yeah, before we head to the third skill, um, the first skill cooldown can now be reduced by activating your passive. So yeah, I mean the cooldown is already super low, but 
You can lower it if you activate the passive switching weapons. So he's gonna be super mobile now. I can see it now. And finally, the ultimate still looks like this. So you press it and there you go. Different animation. It looks much cooler now, much more devastating. So it says that it still has the slow effect and I think the area is much larger now. So that is about it, guys. I think uh, things are looking pretty good for our boy Yi Shin here. I think it's a pretty good, pretty good rework. And it's pretty balanced. Aside from the new enhanced passive he has, I think he's worth playing now because he's got some amazing mobility. If you manage your skill 1 and changing between long range and short range attacks. Plus, if you can't do that, just friggin' activate the skill 2. It'll give you stacks on your passive, which will lower down the cooldown of your skill 1 or your dash if you hit an enemy with basic attacks. So yeah, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this rework or revamp. Slap that like button if you want more updates like this. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Look at that awesome slash, man.